Have you ever wondered how one of the world's oldest civilizations began? Journey with me back in time, to the cradle of civilization, to the fertile banks of the Nile River. Here, more than 5,000 years ago, the seeds of the ancient Egyptian civilization were sown. The Nile, with its annual floods, provided the lifeblood for this civilization, offering fertile soil for agriculture, enabling the early Egyptians to settle and build communities. Imagine a time when Egypt was not one, but two separate kingdoms, Upper and Lower Egypt. Each had its own ruler, its own deities, and its own distinct culture. But this division was not to last forever. A visionary pharaoh named Menes, around 3100 BC, accomplished the monumental task of unifying these two kingdoms into a single entity, marking the beginning of the first dynasty of Egypt. Now picture the grandeur of the Old Kingdom period, often referred to as the Age of the Pyramids. This was a time of unprecedented architectural innovation and societal progress, a time when the iconic pyramids and the enigmatic Sphinx were constructed. These structures were not merely grand tombs for the pharaohs, but served as a testament to their divine status and the capabilities of the ancient Egyptians. The Pyramids of Giza, the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world still standing today, are a testament to the ingenuity and ambition of this civilization. Likewise, the Sphinx, with its lion's body and human head, remains shrouded in mystery, continuing to captivate and intrigue us. From the unification of Upper and Lower Egypt, to the construction of the pyramids and the Sphinx during the Old Kingdom period, the dawn of civilization in ancient Egypt was a time of remarkable developments and monumental achievements. Now let's delve deeper into one of Egypt's most fascinating eras, the New Kingdom. Imagine a time when pharaohs ruled and Egypt was the most powerful state in the ancient world. Welcome to the Age of the New Kingdom, a time of prosperity, power, and unparalleled influence. This was an era where Egypt, under the rule of its mighty pharaohs, reached its zenith. This period, spanning from 16th century BC to the 11th century BC, witnessed the reign of some of the most iconic figures in ancient history. Let's delve into the lives of three of these key pharaohs, Hatshepsut, Akhenaten, and Tutankhamun. Hatshepsut, one of the few female pharaohs, reigned for two decades, proving that women could rule with as much strength and wisdom as men. She was known for her diplomatic prowess and her ambitious building projects that left an indelible mark on the landscape of Egypt. Then came Akhenaten, a pharaoh who shunned the traditional Egyptian gods and introduced a monotheistic religion centered around the sun god, Aten. His reign was marked by a significant shift in Egypt's religious landscape and an emphasis on artistic expression. Finally, we have Tutankhamun, the boy king, who ascended to the throne at the tender age of nine. His reign may have been short, but his legacy is immortalized in the form of his richly adorned tomb, discovered in the early 20th century, offering a glimpse into the opulence of the New Kingdom. During this period, Egypt's influence extended far beyond its borders. Its wealth, derived from plentiful harvests and control over strategic trade routes, attracted admiration and envy alike from neighboring empires. Egypt's military might was unmatched, its architectural marvels unparalleled, and its religious and cultural practices widely emulated. But as the saying goes, nothing lasts forever. Despite its power and influence, the new kingdom eventually succumbed to internal strife and external pressures. The grandeur of the empire began to fade, its wealth depleted, and its influence waned. As all great empires do, Egypt's power eventually declined, leading us to the next chapter in our journey. What happens when a mighty civilization falls into the hands of foreign powers? This question brings us to a pivotal era in Egyptian history, the Late Period. This was a time marked by foreign invasions and rule, a stark contrast to the previous eras of indigenous rule. First, let's talk about the Persians. In the 6th century BC, Egypt fell into the hands of the Persian Empire, marking the end of the Late Period's first phase. The Persians' tactics were brutal and their rule was relentless, but the Egyptians were resilient. They resisted and reclaimed their independence a few times, but the Persians always managed to regain control. Next, we journey to the era of the Greeks. The conquest of Alexander the Great in the 4th century BC ushered in the Ptolemaic Kingdom, a time of Greek influence and rule. This period was marked by a blend of Greek and Egyptian cultures, a fusion that's most evident in the reign of Cleopatra VII. Cleopatra, often regarded as the last active ruler of Ptolemaic Egypt, was known for her intelligence, charm, and political acumen. 
The final chapter of the late period is marked by the Roman conquest. After Cleopatra's death, Egypt became a province of the Roman Empire. This transition brought about significant changes in political, social, and economic structures. The Romans exploited Egypt's abundant resources, particularly grain, to support their own empire's expansion. Throughout these conquests and changes in power, one thing remained constant, the resilience and adaptability of the Egyptian people. Despite being under foreign rule, they managed to preserve their culture, traditions, and identity. They assimilated aspects of the conqueror's cultures into their own, creating a unique blend that further enriched their civilization. But Egypt's rich history doesn't end there. It continues to evolve and adapt through the centuries. We'll delve into that in the next segment as we explore modern Egypt, from Ottoman rule to the present day. Stay tuned. Fast forward to more recent times. What does modern Egypt look like? Let's take a quick journey. In the early 16th century, Egypt fell under Ottoman rule. The Ottomans were a Turkish empire, and their reign over Egypt was marked by fluctuating levels of control. However, the Ottoman Sultan's influence was always felt, impacting the social, political, and cultural fabric of Egypt. By the late 18th century, Egypt became a target of European colonial powers. In the late 19th century, the British essentially took control of Egypt, turning it into a de facto protectorate. This period was marked by significant infrastructural development, but also by growing Egyptian discontent with foreign rule. The fight for independence was long and arduous. Key figures emerged during this struggle, including Gamal Abdel Nasser and Anwar Sadat. Nasser, a charismatic leader, was instrumental in the establishment of the Republic of Egypt in the mid-20th century. He championed Arab nationalism and socialism, shaping Egypt's modern identity. Anwar Sadat, Nasser's successor, was known for his peace initiatives with Israel, which culminated in the Camp David Accords. This move was controversial, leading to his assassination, but it marked a significant turning point in the region's geopolitics. In the 21st century, Egypt has continued to face challenges. The 2011 revolution, part of the broader Arab Spring, led to the ousting of President Hosni Mubarak. Since then, the country has grappled with political instability and economic difficulties. However, despite these hurdles, Egypt has also made strides in areas like women's rights and technological innovation. Modern Egypt is a complex tapestry woven with threads of history and contemporary issues. It's a nation that has evolved under different rulers, experienced revolutions, and faced ongoing struggles. But through it all, Egypt has remained a vibrant, dynamic society, always adapting and reshaping itself. Egypt's story is a testament to human resilience, adaptability, and the enduring allure of its ancient past. So, why does Egypt's history matter to us today, you might ask? Well, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've taken through the epics of Egypt's past. In the dawn of civilization, we saw a society rise along the fertile banks of the Nile, creating a culture that would endure for thousands of years. The ingenuity of the ancient Egyptians is still evident today in their monumental architectural achievements, the pyramids, the sphinx, and the intricately decorated tombs of the Valley of the Kings. These structures are not just relics of the past, but a testament to human creativity and ambition. Fast forward to the New Kingdom, an era marked by expansion and empire. The pharaohs of this period, like Ramses II and Queen Hatshepsut, left indelible marks on history, their names echoing through the ages. Their leadership and the wealth they accumulated helped shape the world we know today. As we moved into the late period, we witnessed Egypt's resilience in the face of foreign rule. Despite being conquered by Persians, Greeks, and Romans, Egypt's cultural identity remained strong. Its art, language, and religion continued to influence these foreign powers, further spreading Egyptian culture. In modern times, from Ottoman rule to the present day, Egypt has continued to evolve while maintaining a strong connection to its ancient past. It stands as a bridge between Africa and the Middle East, its rich history contributing to its unique cultural identity. But the legacy of ancient Egypt is not confined to the past. It continues to captivate us today, inspiring countless works of literature, art, and film. Its hieroglyphs and mythology fuel our imagination, while its archaeological sites draw millions of tourists each year, eager to experience a piece of this enduring civilization. As we've seen, Egypt's history is a captivating tale of human achievement, power, and resilience, a tale that continues to unfold. It's a story that reminds us of the potential within us all, to create, to conquer, and to persevere. 
And who knows, perhaps the best chapters are yet to be written.